Hello there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry Fat and I live in Nova Scotia in Canada. On my YouTube channel, I just share my experiences about life here in Canada. In this video, I also do a bit of immigration. So in this video, I'll be taking you through the University of Winnipeg in Manitoba in Canada. This is one of the schools in Canada you can come to. I remember I was in Manitoba during the summer, in July actually. So I, I went to two schools in Manitoba, that's University of Manitoba and University of Winnipeg. I already uh, showed you the video of uh, University of Manitoba. I think sometimes in July I posted that. So this one is the University of uh, Winnipeg, also in Manitoba, as one of the public research universities in Canada. Uh, this was me on my way to the university. It's in downtown Winnipeg. So I took the bus there and, yeah, come with me while I take you there. It's quite easy to commute in Manitoba. Uh, the commonest uh, means of transportation is uh, the bus system, which is quite reliable from the little time I spent there. So I went there. Uh, this school is one of the affordable schools in Canada. Uh, for a postgraduate program, you should be looking at, say, $13,000 to $15,000, depending on the program. It could be less, it could be more. So it's not like the same thing for all the programs. So this is about the average you expect to pay uh, for a postgraduate um a program uh, and then for a bsc and undergrad about thirteen thousand dollars as well uh, for one year it could be less it could be more depending on the program uh, you're going for so come with me while i take you through uh university of winnipeg before i go on with the video about university of winnipeg let me say something about the video i made about the university of manitoba so far this video is my is paid video on youtube uh, funny enough it has just about 2,000 views. I have videos that are way more than that. It's more like 7,000 7, views. But they, don't, they didn't pay me as much as it, I got from the rest of Manitoba's video. Which is quite funny. Like, you don't even understand how YouTube works. But just I just thought to say thank you to all those of you who watched this video. Who, you know, liked it, commented, you know, and engaged with the video. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Even though I know that YouTube pays, you know, pay money for videos, you know, using various algorithms, uh, but my passion for sharing information is not about the money. I mean, money is good, uh, but the reason why I set up my YouTube channel is not just uh, for the money. I mean, when the money comes, it's good, but I'm happy that, you know, uh, my efforts is being rewarded, you know, uh, but I mean, that's not my driving force. I just do this because I love to share my experiences about my life in Canada and about immigration. Okay, so back to the University of Winnipeg. So I like the fact that this school is in downtown Winnipeg. So this is the this is downtown Winnipeg. I just love the view, you know. I don't know if it's a good thing that a school is in downtown. I don't know if it's making it more expensive to live uh, around there or so. I really can't tell. But I just like the fact that it's in a in downtown and you have access to a lot of things in my opinion so that's me in the bus that's the bus stop i stopped at uh on the bus and the bus stop i stopped at was just in front of the school it was just a walking distance to the school so i went to ask the bus driver for the description i wasn't sure where the school was You remember I mentioned earlier that this was in summer, it was in July, so schools, you know, are usually closed in summer, uh, they are on holiday, students are on holiday, so I really couldn't go into the buildings, I don't even know where it takes to go to the buildings, I don't know if, you know, they allow you to just come in randomly, uh, but I mean, I was just outside, the buildings were locked, so I was outside just, you know, filming around the school, just to see what the school looks like, really. That's the essence of this video. So I have a feel, you know, if you're coming to this school, you'll be like, oh, at least I have a, a picture of what it looks like, you know, in my head. You know what the environment looks like. You know what the opportunities are for you. You know the cost of living. You have an idea of what the cost of tuition is. You have an idea of, you know, how the environment is and all of that. Even me, it was, it was a good experience for me to go and see for myself. Uh, it's not about just 
uh, just uh, get an admission for my students. I, it's also important for me to, each time I go to a province, I try to go to at least a school or two, uh, particularly popular schools that uh, people love to co come to in Canada. So I try to go to schools like that when I go to a new province, you know, or even the province I live in, you know, every once in a while I go to real schools to do like a school tour, really, like a mini school tour and see what the school is like this is a really it's, it's, it's quite big i mean i could i could even go around everywhere it's quite big and you know so i'll just show you just the, the buildings what they look like and you know all of that in terms of cost of living, Manitoba is one of the most affordable provinces in Canada. Uh, when we came here, I ke we came to see uh, my brother-in-law's family. So they live there. So they were, like when I was comparing their cost of living with us in Nova Scotia, Manitoba was like leading in terms of you know housing, accommodation, even food, even groceries. I found their things to be a, a little bit cheaper than Nova Scotia. I'm, I'm, I was a bit surprised with that because I, I thought that Nova Scotia would be cheaper in terms of li cost of living than Manitoba. Like, I was really, really surprised, particularly for housing. Like, I was really, really surprised about that. So if you are working on a budget, I think Manitoba is a place you should consider if you are looking for a school, you know, and you're, you have a tight budget. Manitoba is a place you should, you know, consider for sure. Uh, I mean, the schools are also affordable, you know, in terms of compared to other provinces in Canada. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that's about cost of living in Manitoba. University of Winnipeg was established in 1967. I understand that the short form for University of Winnipeg is like UW or U Winnipeg. Uh, from one of the research I made, I understand that international students, you know, are able to earn as much as $34,000 per annum. And the reason is because you don't work full time as a student. So you're able to make about $34,000, you know, plus minus as a student in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Remember, this is not a, a rule for everybody. Like I said, it can be more, it can be less, you know, depending on the kind of job you do. And then in terms of the number of hours you're able to work as an international student, it used to be 20 hours per week. But about a month ago or three weeks ago, there was an update, like a, 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 a an immigration news that people are able to work for more than 20 hours now we don't know how long this rule will be for but right now you're able to work for more than 20 hours right and the reason they give is because they, just to meet the labor needs of canada uh, but we don't know how long this will be for but which is good news for many students since they're able to work for more hours they're able to get more money and save up However, let me mention that even though it's good that you're able to work for more hours, it's very important that you face your studies and you pass with good grades. Remember, particularly if your end goal is to get PR, you need to like you need to do well in your studies to be able to graduate, to be able to get postgraduate work permits, then to be able to apply for PR. So don't let money be your driving force. I mean, money is good. I understand that tuition is expensive. Uh, even the cost of living is expensive in Canada. Uh, but however, please don't don't let the work hours, you know, d take you off, off, off the radar, okay? So please be careful about that. I mean, it's good that you're able to work for more hours. But the truth is, even studying in Canada is not, is not a child's play. I've done a postgraduate diploma in Canada and I know how tasking it was. There are tests, there are assignments, there are group work, there are projects, there's this, there's that. And all of these things, you know, is what makes up your total score in your subjects, in your overall grade. So please be careful, you know, while you are working also, you know, put your best in your studies. You really need to, you want to be able to graduate, you know, well, right? Let me also add that not even not everybody is even able to work for 20 hours. Some even work less. You know why? Because their coursework is enough for them. They're not even able to do, even when it was 20 hours, so people do 10 hours, you know, or thereabout, just because they don't have that extra time to work because they have very, very busy with their studies. Uh, and each course, you know, differs, you know, the requirements, the volume of work di differs from uh, program to program. 
But overall, uh, Canada is a very wonderful destination to come to for studies. Canada is one of the few countries that allow you to become permanent residents, even Canadians, within a particular amount of time. In three, four, five years, it can become a PR or even Canadian citizen. So that's why a lot of people, you know, love to come to Canada to study. You know, you're able to come in your dependents if you meet the requirements. You know, in, you're able to apply for work permit upon graduation. If you do one year program, you get one year postgraduate work permit. If you do two years or more, you get three years work permit. And then you're able to gain experience to be able to apply for permanent residence. And after which you're able to apply for citizenship. And the good thing is the time you're studying also counts towards your citizenship, you know. Uh, so that's the good thing that Canada has that's working for them. That's why a lot of people love to come to Canada to study because not every, I mean, people come for study, study, but they also want to get permanent residence. You know, that's also their end goal, which is not bad. The system allows for that. So it's not like you're going against the law. If your end goal is to become a PR, it's allowed, you know, there are policies, there are things that allow you to, to obtain that. I also love Manitoba because it's uh it's not very busy, it's not very quiet. For me, I'll consider it to be like a mid, you know, like Winnipeg. Let me say Winnipeg, like a mid city, not too big, not too small. So I love that about about Winnipeg. You know, and also Man Manitoba as a whole. I also love the fact that it's a family oriented province. You're able to raise, you know, particularly if you have a young family, I think it's a good place for you to come to to be able to raise your family. I mean, that's I spent just about a week or or, or thereabout, but we have I have family and friends who live there, and they speak very highly of the province. Though one of the things people don't like about Manitoba is that it's very very cold. Also, it's also very, very hot. Like when we went <laughs> in summer, it was so, so hot. Incredibly hot. It was unbelievably hot. I thought that because it's a very cold province, as people say, I didn't think it was going to be that hot. And then in Manitoba, there are a couple of deep opportunities. Maybe not as much as you would find in bigger cities or bigger provinces, but there are a couple of ones you can also get as a student in Manitoba. And I know, I know a, a couple of students, you know, help that to get by because paying school fees is not like easy. It's a lot of money. So yes, you can get a job to you know sustain yourself in Manitoba. Also, commuting in in Winnipeg is very very easy. Like it, you can easily navigate your way around. So that was me and my family on the bus we took a bus to to downtown just to like tour the place and all of that i had to f know what it feels like to go on the bus so in i'm in winnipeg the commonest form of you know transportation and cheapest i would say is uh, the bus so you can go on the bus there's taxis there's uber you know so we went on the bus it was a good experience the bus ticket is about two dollars 75 cents but as a student some schools do have you know uh, programs that you can give you like a school bus uh, pass during the school year so ask f uh, for that in your school whichever, you sc whichever school you go to in manitoba i said that i have that and I was done with my mini tour of University of Winnipeg. Let me mention that this was a day we were leaving Winnipeg. So our flights to Toronto was on this day. I'm so happy. I'm just grateful that I not, we did not miss our flight because my family were waiting for me. They were so pissed that <laughs> I took that long. I didn't know I was going to take that long, actually. Uh, I didn't know I was going to take that long. And I didn't get Uber to go back. I didn't have mobile data or so or something like that. So I couldn't book Uber. So I had, I had just the option of bus. I just thought, okay, maybe I'll be, I'll be able to get there on time. But luckily, you know, we didn't miss our flights. If you had missed our flight, this video <laughs> would have paid for my flight. <laughs> so, yeah, this is what I do, you know. I, I just really wanted to do this video. I, didn't, I, I mean, I'd gone to University of Manitoba. But I didn't think just one was enough for one province. But the truth is that I don't know when I'll come back to Manitoba. I really don't know what will bring me here again anytime soon. So I was like, since I'm here, why not you know make a video about this at least two schools there? In fact, there was a school I wanted to go to so badly that I did not go to that I really, really I was pain. It's a polytechnic in, in um 
in Winnipeg as well. I heard it's even close to the University of Winnipeg because I was running late. I had plans to go there actually on this same day, but because I was running late and our flights, you know, I didn't want to miss our flight. I had to just do this one school on this day. If not, I would have done the other school as well, the Polytechnic. It's quite popular as well uh, for people. I uh, hear it's quite affordable and the, uh, you know, the requirement is not so stringent. So, Anyways, so this was also on our way to the airport, you know, I was just praying that we had not missed our <laughs> flight, you know, and we we seven of us, you know, uh, my whole family and our, and our mamas, you know. Anyways, thank God we did not miss our flight and this was us, you know, heading back. So we came for my nephew's wedding, in my nephew-in-law's wedding rather, in Winnipeg. So we went back to Toronto here. Yeah. So the airport was it was so busy on this day the queue was long before you could check in it was so long it was such a very like very unpleasant experience i must say like it was so like, un very very unpleasant i can say in, like in recent times that like my worst check-in experience like it was so so tedious i was so tired like it was so so annoying anyways we were able to board eventually and we headed back to toronto so in case you didn't know, I'm a regulated Canadian immigration consultant and RCIC. So I'm licensed to help you with your visa applications to Canada. So yeah, if you're looking for admissions, visa applications, we are able to assist you at Green Sea Leaves. And these are some of the applications we've helped with. Either we've helped with the admission and visa application or we've helped with the visa application. These are some of the admissions we've gotten across Canada. That's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And take care of yourself. Be good. And don't forget, if you need admission in Canada, Green Tea Lips is your plug. Visa applications, we are also your plug. We help you with your visas for visits, for study, PR, and the likes. Thanks for watching. Bye. Take care.